Hi, so I'm here to talk about the piece we read called The New England Nun um, by Mary Wilkins Freeman. Um, and to start off, I just want to talk about the time period she was writing in and how during that time period there was a lot of feminist writing, feminist thoughts um, going around. And it's interesting to note that when we're looking at her piece and the message that um, some of the characters in her piece of writing portray in this time period where women were trying so hard to break the, the social norm of being complacent um, housewives, pretty much. Um, we saw in Little Woman how Jo was fighting to be an independent woman who made the made the money for her own family and this is kind of an interesting contrast to that type of writing um it was a very simple piece i it it was simple but i enjoyed that it was giving off a somewhat easy to understand um and clear message with such a simple writing um there was a lot of great imagery and descriptions of simple like little scenes um, that show the like quaint New England um, quaint New England life that Louisa was living um, so some important characters I thought that can be like compared and contrasted Louisa and her husband what was his name Daggett, um, or supposed to be husband, um, they were very different, um, he was very robust, he was working for the whole time he was gone, 14 years, and she is very dainty, described as, like, doing all these very, like, little tasks that would require to be very quiet and calm and, um, he comes into her house and kind of disrupts this little bubble she's been living in. In the canary we see flutters in its cage and so I thought the those characters were used to kind of like heighten each other's differences and so because he was so um, clumsy and knocking things over and she was so dainty and so calm and quiet it kind of made each other seem more so those descriptors. Um, I also found that Louise's dog Caesar, who is described as a hermit who lives alone in his little pen because of the incident with the bite, um, is very could be said to be like a symbol for Louisa. Um, he lives alone as does Louisa. He seems to be content in his cage. They don't say anything besides that. Um, and in both cases, um, when Louisa's supposed to be husband comes to visit, he says he wants to let her, let the dog out. And also the same thing would kind of be occurring to Louisa if they were to get married. He would bring her out of her little bubble or her cage, you could say, that is her house with all her, um, daily chores and bring her into this new life. And She's very re reluctant to want that. Um, she doesn't want to move out of her house. She doesn't want to move in with him. And so I found those two to be definitely comparable. And the fact that the dog, that Louise is so worried about the dog being ferocious if it was to be let out is really interesting because I wonder if she thinks the same of herself. If she were to be brought into this married life or brought out of the bubble she's in, would she become someone she doesn't want to be? Um, and then finally, there's a quote at the end that I thought was really representative of the main theme that I found to be throughout the piece. And it says, serenity and placid narrowness have become to her as the birthright itself. And so it's kind of saying that this peaceful, um, calm, but very, very simplified life that Louisa is living is just her destiny, it's what she's going to do, um, and it's what she wants to do.